The people are hungry. They're getting desperate. Dizzy and a little nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water, I'll give you whatever I have. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. Whatever you can find. You find anything? Oh, thank God. Thank you. I'm Annie, and I'm looking for my teddy bear. I can't fall asleep without him, and I'm very tired. And those monsters keep knocking. Will you find my teddy bear? Hi. The last time I saw him, he was in our bungalow. Number 15, where I live with my sister Jenny. Remember, his name is Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, and I'm sure he'll go with you. He's a brave teddy bear. My muscles are starting to cramp up. Oh, thank God. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tim. I'm so sorry. You weren't you. I didn't know what else to do. Danny. He needs it. 
he's in Bungalow 14. Please. I'm up for it. Good. Look, you better go. He's running out of time. You find my insulin? Wait, you're not my brother? He must have sent you, right? Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here. Blood. Blood everywhere. Ah! <laughs> Soaking into everything. Teddy! Where have you been? You've been a bad boy. Say thank you to the nice people. with them. Go around the side and I'll open the back door. Take whatever you want. I gotta catch my breath. Uh, by the way, I'm Steve. Uh, this lifeguard came by, I think his name was uh, Simba... No, Cinnamoy, yeah. S said I should come with him. But the son of a bitch had tattoos on his goddamn face. I'm supposed to trust somebody like that? Hoo -hoo, looked like a damn cannibal. So I stayed put. Thought I was better off on my own. Probably not the best decision I ever made. for a second. Okay, listen, there's this tall hombre that owes me some money. Mucho dinero. But he came down with whatever this infection is and paid me what he owes me in exactly his first priority. I'm thinking his money's inside his bungalow. But I need the key to get in there. It's not like the poor hijo de puta needs it anymore. Hey, listen, if you get me the key, we'll split the cash. Deal? Yeah. Good, good. Listen, he's hard to miss. Very tall. And I'm pretty sure I saw him at the bar. Get back here as soon as you have the key, all right?
Let's keep moving, amigos! That's it! Yes! <laughs> Muchas gracias, amigos! All right, here's your cut. We were driving to the lifeguard tower when something jumped in front of the car. John lost control and we crashed. He's still there, trapped inside the car. You have to help me get him out, please. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you. Quickly, over here. Okay. Here, take what you need out of the trunk. Whatever you want. some wheels, but, uh, damn, something's wrong with the engine, because I didn't get very fucking far. I knew I had to get inside somewhere fast, and came up on this place, but, phew, it's locked up tight in a nun's asshole. Could you see if there's another way in? I'm sure there's all kind of crap we might find useful in there. Yeah. Okay. I'll wait here by the front. Watch yourselves. Who knows what you'll find in there? 
Sure don't smell too pretty. I wondered what the hell happened to you. I guess it wasn't the dead I smelled, but just the damp and mildew. Come here a second. Name's Harlan. I'm an airline pilot, and I was staying at the hotel. I was on my way to the airport, and this is as far as I got. So for now, the shack will have to do. I got food, I got water, but the... Only electricity comes from a gas-powered generator. I need more gas, and otherwise I'm gonna be sitting my ass in the dark. Eventually the situation will settle, but until then, you think you could help me out? Yeah, okay. Now down the hill is a gas station. You bring me two cans of gas, and I'll pay you for it. This motherfucker. Hell, you might find something else worthwhile in there as well. Cool beans. They should keep the lights on for quite a while. Here, take some cash. <laughs> Ain't doing me any good here anyway. Got another idea for you. One of the best ways to take out one of them infected freaks is to set the some bitch on fire. They turn into crispy critters, and that is fucking it for them. I can make a couple Molotovs for you with the gasoline you brought me. Uh, you can take out a couple of those bastards at once. All I need are some empty bottles. And if there's whiskey in them, hell, that's even better. Yeah. Bring me a couple bottles of whiskey or grain alcohol or anything like that and I'll fix you right up. Amigos, I hear there are more survivors at the lifeguard tower. Can you help me get there? If you do, I'll give you this weapon. Promise. One shot takes down a mob of those pendejos. Yeah, okay. Gracias. We better go, huh?
It was you! Gracias. Hey, I always remember my amigos. What we got here? I'm not getting through to anybody. I've tried every frequency I can and nothing, mate. Silence. No trace of that guy who said he could help us. Dominic's trying to boost the transmitter, but who knows how long that'll take. Meanwhile, everything you bring disappears in a flash. We're almost down to nothing. I was afraid to even think about it, but I don't think we have a choice. I need you to go look for supplies in the town. Can you do this for us? Let's do it. The tunnel leading to the town is blocked. Those things are everywhere, but I have a plan. There's a truck we can use to punch through. I saw some blokes pull an 18-wheeler with a broken axle out of a ditch with it once. If anything can get through the tunnel, it's that rig. Guaranteed. Now get to the parking garage and bring back that truck. Once you do that, then we'll worry about the rest. What's 
in here.